everybody, it's me, KRZ Nachita, here with Harvester. Alright, let's go in here because we have the broom closet key. The door is locked. Not for long. Ha ha ha. Okay. Whoa. Miss Whaley and Principal Harold. You're busted. Huh? What? Screwing in the school broom closet? What will people think? Seriously! They'll think nothing, you little bastard. You have no proof of your allegation. And we'll be sure to avoid this broom closet in the future. Come, Miss Whaley. Not likely now. Thanks, Steve. Don't I still have the key? I still have the key. Duh. Glass protected fire alarm, huh? It would be a shame if. Damn it. Ah. It'd be a shame if something. Oh, man. Oh, happened. Man. I guess not. What am I supposed to do with that? <sighs> Can I look in here again? <gasps> Ah. Uh, all right. Is there nowhere else I can actually go or do anything? Well then. Okay. Well, I learned something, I guess. Uh, let's go talk to Mr. Potsdam because Mofo buried a kid alive. Hey. Did you say hello to your father for me? Uh, no, I haven't seen him. It's very important. Tell him. Tell him that I hope he gets better soon. And and don't forget to remind him about his promise regarding the meat. I could use some good news right now. I just got the word. The order turned down my latest application. Looks like we'll be having the wedding at morning hands after all. Ah. Uh, I'm going straight for it. Yeah, I know what that crazy little bitch said. Excuse but it's you. It's not true. I was at home that night. Mrs. Potsdam will vouch for me. Isn't that right, Mrs. Potsdam? That's right, Mr. Potsdam. Hello, Steve. Care to stay for some pot roast? Forget the pot roast, Mother. Pot roast isn't for backstabbers. For persecutors. I won't share my meat with him. My meat! My meat! Well. Jiminy Christmas. That's all right. I'm Sorry, just going to go ahead with so that or I'm going to get Steve, killed. Being a parent myself, well, just being accused of something like that, it's unthinkable. Unthinkable? <laughs> Someone went and scraped up Johnson's car? Can you imagine? He'd step in a bear trap and chew his own leg off rather than suffer a scratch tucker. Serves the rich bastard right, if you ask me. Alright. I I'm going up to see Stephanie now. Hope that's all right. Hey, Stephanie. Steve, I'm so glad you came back. What have you been doing? I visited the lodge, talked to the sergeant at arms there. He knows that there's something out of whack here. He told me if I wanted to find out what it is, I should join the lodge. I've decided to join the lodge, Stephanie. I think the answer to all our questions is inside. That place. It's so sinister. I know. Maybe, but I have to join. You may be playing right into their hands. Did you think of that? Doesn't it seem like you're being herded toward the lodge? That's one of the things I hope to find out. Yeah. I hope finding out doesn't get you killed. Hopefully not. That would suck. My faux mother keeps me up on the latest gossip. Not like she really wants to talk to me. 
more like she's feeding me information. For instance, she told me that Mr. Johnson's Tucker was vandalized. Oh, no. I had nothing That's to another do with weird that. Thing. Every car I've seen drive by is a Tucker. There were only 31 produced. What are the odds of that? I've always wanted a Tucker. Funny that Harvest would be full of them. Yeah. Any idea who scratched the car? <coughs> I didn't. Why would you do something like that? It's part of the Lodge initiation. I see. Yeah. Look, I don't know what's going on here, but getting into the Lodge is the best way to find out. By committing vandalism? Yes! Harmless enough, Frank. It was a crime, Steve. Don't be so melodramatic about it. I've heard of worse fraternity initiations. True. Sorry. When you put it that way, I guess I was overreacting. Yeah. Is it true? You found Karen? Sure did! Yeah. Just in time, too. He'd molested her and buried her alive. He couldn't bring himself to kill her outright, so he just decided to stick her in the ground and let fate take its course. Who? Who would do that to a helpless child? Oh. She says it was Mr. Potsdam. Yeah. And I believe her. Oh, Christ. And all this time I've been under the same roof with that... With that thing watching me. Take it easy, okay? So, at least they'll be coming to take him away, won't they? Um, not exactly. Come back and visit me soon, okay? Okay. I severely doubt that, um, they're gonna have anything done to Mr. Potsdam. Oh! Well, I didn't realize that would change! medicine cabinet again. Yeast disinfectant not to be used for baking cookies. 300 yards of dental floss. I don't understand why I can't pick up the band-aids. Like, I'm probably going to need band-aids by the end of this. But nah. And I don't think it would help her if I said, hey, by the way. You might want to be extra nice to Mr. Poston today, Steve. He was turned down by the lodge again. Guess we're having the wedding at Mr. Moynihan's after all. Bye. Give my regards to your parents. Sure. Actually, I gotta go check something. Because if I'm right... Phillips head screws! Yay! I'm gonna save and try to do it now. Even though I'm pretty sure this is not gonna go well, because it probably won't. Let's see. For most security devices, there is usually more than one trap for intruders. Oh! But it, but it was my house. It was my house, though. I go and die. This is your first arrest, Steve. Oh. You just remember, we've got a three strikes, you're out rule here in Harvest. But you keep your nose clean, you hear? Okay. That was... Can you not? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna load my game, and I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend that never happened. Oh no, it was just a dream. Okay. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's go talk. Probably nothing. Hello, right? dear. By the way, I spoke with huh? Mr. Johnson, and he's living. Seems someone scratched up his priceless Tucker. 
If he finds out who, there'll be heck to pay. Congratulations, hero. You found Karen after all. You don't seem proud, Mother. I wonder why. I what warned you not to waste time looking for her. I never talked Am I to you. Out of time. The blood drive is coming soon. What does that have to do with anything? Yeah. If you haven't joined the lodge by then, you'll find out. Still, I'm glad you found the poor baby. She says Mr. Potsdam was responsible for what happened to her. What a silly little girl. The fuck, lady? I believe her. Shame on you. Fuck you. Imagine accusing your future father-in-law of a thing like that. Is that how a range rider would behave? I don't think so. I think you need to be why talking would she lie? to Hank okay, about like that, okay? Even if he is a child molester, a kidnapper, and an attempted murderer, that's no reflection on what kind of father-in-law he'll be. I just can't wait for the wedding. What Can the you? Bye! Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. Got it! My brain hurts, everybody! Oh. Hey, it's too bad they don't give scout badges for digging up buried kids. I like to see what that badge would look like. I went over to ask her what it was like being buried alive and all. But she just stared at me and twitched and drew her. <laughs> guess I got my answer. Huh. I guess so. Bye, oh, Hank. Finally. Schmur. Okay. <laughs> um. Oh. We need to tell, uh, Colonel Buster Monroe that apparently the firemen aren't commies. Folks, who goes there? Steve! It's just me, Steve. What do you want? Did the llamas send you? No, the llamas, they fear That's me. good. Someone has to keep them in check. Mm. I remember you. You're the soldier I sent to check on the firemen. Did you find evidence of commie infiltration? No need for concern, Colonel. They're not commies. Thank God for that. Your next assignment is to infiltrate the lodge before it's too late. Get it at all costs, mister. Oh, God help us all. Actually, I'm working Remember, on it. Duck and cover. Aye, aye, sir. All right. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying aye, aye. That's not even proper. Okay, and... All right, let's go to the store. Hello, Thanks, Phelps. Steve. Care to buy anything today? Yes, please. Just point to whatever. Steve, you live close to Mr. Johnson. How is he taking it? Such wanton vandalism. It just breaks my heart. I'll have to send him a nice fruit basket. Though if he wants some new paint and sealant, it'll cost him. Mm. I don't even know what I, I would buy, though. So I'm just gonna... Let's go visit Mr. Johnson! I'm saving because... Alright. Some rotten son of a bitch scratched my car! I'm sorry! My, my baby, my poor darling, my sweet cheeks! Oh. If I find out who did it, I'll kill him. Just kill him dead. I told that fool sheriff to beef up the patrols, but what does he care about? Nobody cares about a limp dick fat boy. Well, I'll uh. make them care. I'll make them care! Good Let's work rescuing Karen. Whoa, whiplash! Oh, queered my play with Edna. But I suppose a little girl's life is more important than my sex life, right? Uh, yeah. And also, also, I did not hit her. Oh, hi, Mark. Let's look in the garage. Faded poster is a 1948 Sexiest Tomboy Award. Alright then. Can I leave? Oh, right, the exit sign. Herp-a-derp. 
one has been bricked up and sealed off. Okay, I guess that's the end of the episode, everybody. Uh, save. There we go. Alright, this has been Harvester with Kiara Zero and Uchida. I hope that you've enjoyed it and that you'll stick around for more. Bye!